Hey folks, what's up? It's me, Stumpy. Yes, you're, you're seeing my face today. This is a, a little little different. Um, but something happened today at the bank that was just kind of too good an opportunity to not pass on to you. I was cashing my paycheck, as I do, um, and on the counter at the bank, there's this uh, little tin bucket with a styrofoam ball in it with a number of small lollipops of a brand name that, to avoid product placement issues, I will refer to from here on out as Chum Chums. Uh, there were a number of Chum Chums stuck into this little thing. So I grabbed one. I uh, went to grab one, as I usually do when I cash my check, and I noticed uh, something a little strange today. Something like this. Uh, it's a limited edition mystery flavor. Now, this is not the normal uh, Chum Chum mystery flavor that's just, you know, odds and ends of whatever crap they couldn't, didn't have enough of to make a whole batch with, whatever it is, I don't know. Um, so I, you know, I thought, out of curiosity, I grabbed one. Immediately the teller said, oh no, no, you don't want that one. If you're going to get that one, get another one to get the taste out of your mouth. Okay, so I, I took a closer look at the label, at the wrapper. Um, I don't know if you can see this. But there are little icons on this wrapper. Uh, there's popcorn, there's bacon, there's uh, what looks like a, a pizza slice there. Okay, challenge accepted. So she made me try one right there in front of her, uh, just so they could see my face, because she said she tried one. She wasn't, didn't remember what flavor it was. And number one, she screamed. And number two, she screamed words that she probably shouldn't have screamed in front of customers. <laughs> but um, the one I got a hold of was this one. Uh, this is the buttered popcorn flavor. So, I mean, it's actually, it's edible. It's not bad. It's not horrible. Um, if it was a legit, normal Chum Chum's flavor, I would probably not leave that one as the last one in the bag. That would be the root beer, actually, but never mind that. Now, um, they seem to have been going more for the butter flavor. If they were trying to make it gross, they should have gone more for the popcorn flavor, like a, a certain kind of jelly bean that makes a, a better popcorn flavored jelly bean did. I can't stand those things. Um, but no, I, I, this is it's just kind of a sweet butter taste, and it's it's not offensive. It's actually not terrible. It's I'm going to save this for later because uh, that, that's actually pretty good. Which leaves uh, the other two flavors. Bacon and pizza. Let me get a little palate cleanser here. I'm almost out of palate cleanser. It's water. It's just water. Um, that's okay because I have I have the super palate cleanser here if I need. Um, it's also water. Yeah, yeah, definitely water. Um, so I've got I went through this bag of chum chums that I got to make sure that it had at least one of each of the kinds that I hadn't tried yet. Uh, no shorty, no shorty, get down. <laughs> um, this one, great. Now it's gonna have a cat hair stuck on it. Uh, this would be, I'm guessing, the bacon. Oh my god. It's definitely the bacon because it's, it has, has this miasma of liquid smoke scent around it. I, you can't see it, but it's, it's just like this smoking cloud. Um, oh god. <laughs> Lime! Okay. So imagine you um you put a marshmallow on a stick to roast it in the campfire and you left it in too long and the marshmallow caught on fire and melted and fell off the stick and all you had was a stick and then you took that stick and you kind of covered it in hard candy that's what this tastes like it it tastes like it, it's smoke flavored hard candy 
it's not a the sweet part isn't even a maple sweet it's just generic lollipop sugar um god that's that's awful and and it's the, that artificial smoke smell that their taste that gets up in your sinuses and I, I it's still there i it's like i just survived a house fire in a in a lollipop factory let me get up So hey, the, the pizza one cannot possibly be worse than that, right? Let me... There we go. Just sucked bacon long off my finger. Oh god. What kind of pizza would this be, do you think? Cat, what the hell are you doing? Um, generic cheese? Uh, pepperoni? Meat lovers, uh, is there maybe a little curd of mozzarella in there? Is it like a Tootsie Pop? You know, never mind. I don't want to. Doesn't smell terrible. The it's terrible. Oh God. Oh God. This this should not exist. I mean. Okay, this is hard to describe because the flavor itself is not horrendous, but it's just wrong. It's the generic sweet hard candy base with tomato flavoring that was an, an artificial tomato flavoring that was concocted by someone who has never tasted a tomato or even really seen one who just knows that a tomato is a thing that exists and it goes on pizza. And then there's oregano. There's a shitload of oregano <laughs> flavor in this thing. It's hard candy, fake tomato, faux tomato, and oregano. And is it worse than the bacon? I'm going to I'm going to say yeah. Cuz the bacon at least sort of tastes like the source material. This that is not pizza. I've never had a piece of pizza in my life that tasted like that. Not even 99 cents shit from the freezer case at the grocery store. Oh god. Viewers, never doubt my love for you. Oh God! So um, yeah. Um, final verdict: butter, butter popcorn, fine. Bacon? No. Uh, um, pizza? Hell no. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is I've I'm, I've weeded all of these out of the bag of chum chums. I'm gonna be taking the rest of them to work with me and putting them in the extra life donation jar. Which, by the way, you can actually also add to yourself online. If you go to beefnopolis.com, click on charities, and uh, there is a thing that will take you to my Extra Life fundraiser page so that you can do that thing there. Uh, it's the least you can do after I sacrificed my taste buds to amuse you. <laughs> but uh, I'm, it's benefiting Texas Children's Hospital, so that's, what the hell are you doing, cat? So it's a good cause, anyway. That's it for now, folks. If I uh, find anything else amusing and horrifically flavored to try out on camera for you, I'll let you know. Take care. See you, la see you later. Bye-bye.